We're backing up north at four. Me and Jeff are just going to take a few minutes to <laughs> relish on ice cream like the best treat on earth. We were just saying, it's hot in the studio right now. <laughs> and, uh, you know, ice cream is one of those things you crave, right? So yeah. when you get hot, like next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, highs in the 80s, that's the first thing you go for when you go to the store is yeah. you get ice cream. I crave it every yeah. season, though. I don't care if it's cold. I uh, still want it. Okay, so do you have a certain <laughs> flavor, or what do you go for? What do you think my favorite flavor is? I would say mint chocolate chip. Oh, that I do like that one, but it's actually Blue Moon. Blue Moon. Yes. Blue Moon. So mine's cookie dough. So there's Blue Moon, right? Is that Blue Moon? It is. What is it's that? Blue. So. And it looks like a moon. <laughs> it looks like a moon. And then there's mine. Mine's yeah. cookie dough. So I just I can't get away from cookie dough. In fact, I had a craving yesterday. Oh. Last night, you know, I um I went home, had dinner. I'm like, I need ice cream. And I went to Triggs and got ice cream because I had to have it. So. You have a go-to flavor or cookie go -to dough. brand? I mean. Uh, is it Crestwood or something like that? I think oh, yeah. it is. Um, you know, um, but it's uh, it, it's Crestwood. I like that. You know, that, um, I don't like the soft serve as much as I do. Oh, yeah. In fact, true this, my second job ever, first was a newspaper delivery person, uh, was working at an ice cream shop. Wow. In, uh, in Round Lake, Illinois, I worked at ice cream place. Oh, Served ice cream. So, oh, what's this? Well, it's kind of hard to get away from ice cream if you're no. working at a shop. Yeah, and it's also more hard to not eat the ice cream when okay. you're working at the ice yeah. cream shop, right? You I probably mean, got just... free ice cream, right? Yeah, and our favorite place in Amherst, where the lake, my lake house is, is mm -hmm. called King Cone. Oh, so gosh. good. So I have good. to go there. So good. I, I went to the windmill a bunch of times already, mm -hmm. and Bricks and Rhinelander opens tomorrow. It does. I know we used to go there a lot. Like, yes, as a group. We walk there like after yeah. dinner or something downtown. So We'll have to start doing that again. Yeah. Is it that time of year? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can do that this weekend because yes. it's going to be nice out. I'm going to be there tomorrow. Are you? I'm going to line up right before bring back opens. some ice cream for me? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope all the viewers know our ice cream, flavor ice cream now. and <laughs> There'll be a quiz later. So no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're done with this, but uh, after the break, we're going to talk about a strawberry field. We're going back in time. All right. I'm back. The weather's getting warmer, and I thought just for fun we would take a step back in time and go to a strawberry field where former Up North at Four host Dan Hagen talks to Mike Matushak about his strawberry farm in Merrill. We're back in Up North at Four. One of the great things about summer in the Northwoods is strawberry picking. And we are at Engleberry Farms here in Merrill, Wisconsin. I'm with Mike Matushak. Mike, how are you doing today? Good, good. So let's talk about the crop. How is the crop doing this year? Um, like I said, yeah, I think it's getting to the point where we're catching up. It was a little behind, which everybody knows the weather was kind of cool, but um, with this stretch of weather we've had, the berries are forming well, and um, the crop has kind of come out, and it seems like it's going to be a good crop this year. So it's high 80s probably right now. Not the case a week ago. How did you handle that frost? Oh, we uh, that's a good thing about strawberries. We can control that kind of setting. We um, when it gets below 32 degrees, we have to get up in the middle of the night or whenever that happens and turn the sprinklers on and on some of them cold nights, we'll build up to a half inch of ice on the plants and on the buds. And But that as long as that heat from the water is absorbed through the ice, it keeps the berry alive. So a week ago, you got up in the middle of the night, turned the sprinklers on and that water kind of keeps the plants retaining its heat or they take the water from the heat right what water. happens is is um, you know like we started it was cold like everybody knew it was in the 40s during the day and, and it it froze at 9 30 at night which you know people the sun's just going down and it's freezing already so we had to turn the sprinklers on so as the night goes the ice builds thicker and thicker and as long as the water keeps getting on to the ice that's there it draws the heat through the ice and keeps the bud from freezing so we're a week after that freezing event. I see a lot of fruit on these plants, none of them red at this point. Any expectation on when uh, picking will start? Well, normally we'll pick about the 20th of June. That's a normal start update. I think we're going to be a little earlier than that. It could be the 17th, 16th, 17th, 18th. Weather's going to dictate that. Weather is right now, I mean, I just watched what they've done in five days. And, um, you know, it sounds like it's going to cool off a little bit, which will actually let the, f the fruit itself ripen a little more natural, which then at that point it'll size up more and it'll en enhance the flavor of the fruit. 
Okay, well, there's nothing better than a fresh strawberry, in my opinion. I was picking strawberries last year. Very tasty. I'll be back again this year. Mike, thanks so much for joining us on Up North F4. All right, thank you. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> now I'm really craving strawberries. <laughs> we are making a lot of people hungry today, yes. I think. Ice cream, strawberries, you can't go wrong. Strawberries kind of balance it out. They're a little healthier, I feel. Um, you know, I, I guess you can't disagree with that, but you know, ice cream is dairy. Dairy is yeah. good for you in okay, moderation. Okay, you just tell yourself that. <laughs> you know, you got to convince yourself of those things. So I actually went to that farm mm -hmm. and I picked like 100 strawberries and they were so good. Yeah, and I think, you know, when, is, when do you uh, harvest strawberries? I know it depends on the weather mm -hmm. and since it was colder lately, mm -hmm. might be different. Things are a bit behind right now, I think, right? So. Yeah. All right, hopefully soon because strawberries are so yeah. good around here. Yeah, all right, here. we're going to take a commercial break and then after that we're going to talk more about weather. My favorite topic. Welcome back, Jeff. It's been so like dreary the past few yeah. days. Is there an end anytime uh, soon? There is an end. So the clouds are going to break up tonight and then tomorrow 70s are wow. back in the forecast sunshine through the afternoon. Uh, right now though not so much. We kind of have some clouds packed in currently holding us in the 50s or so. But again tomorrow 70s. This weekend, the holiday weekend, we're talking about mid 70s Saturday followed by mid 80s on Sunday and the holiday on Monday. Sweet. Well, thank you for watching. Jeff will be back at five o'clock. <laughs>